Fedora Extra Packages for Enterprise Linux, or EFL, as we call it. And uh, these are just a rebuild of packages that are from Fedora that are specifically for Enterprise Linux and the derivatives and stuff from that. Out West, we call it Apple versus EFL. Oh, and, um, <laughs> wait, wait, But I'm, out, I'm from Out West, and I said... Well, well, a lot of what Apple started off as is a continuation of the community spirit that Red Hat has had from the day one. There was a core set of packages, some 3,000 or so, entirely maintained by Red Hat engineers, and in order to, it was the same model as before, you'd have to submit a fix, and there was a, a gateway that was happening. Because it was impossible to bring everybody ex from the outside in, what we did instead was we went every single package and pushed it externally. And Fedora was the first time that we created, the community had an infrastructure to start doing stuff, and, and begin to do things not just right and well, but better than everyone else. And sometimes the, the packages from Apple, if they're a big enough need, they get included into the next release of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which means that we don't have a a big change in formats or anything. Yeah. As a matter of fact, that sometimes those packages get pulled into to Red Hat Enterprise Linux updates. Yes. And the fact that the Fedora community has set the packaging standards that then get pushed up to engineering means that for the engineering side, all they have to do is say, looks good, and pull it in. There's no reworking that has yeah. to happen. It follows a philosophy that is this nice and rel like philosophy, but you know, a slower update process, uh, focus on bug fixes and, and security for certain over enhancements. So it's not about pulling the latest features, about creating a stable code base. It's not meant to be replace everybody or anybody. It's meant to focus on the enterprise customer who wants to have something that will go into Red Hat Enterprise if they have a big enough need for it. Anybody can get involved in maintaining, putting packages in Fedora. They get involved in helping to contribute directly to the very packages that are part of Enterprise Linux, which means customers and partners and all these other people can come in, be directly involved. And in essence, we're collaborating on a, a shareable business process that other that other groups can use and yep. you're really getting the benefit because the people who are creating it are the very people in each of those organizations who are best capable of coming up with those answers and they're sharing it across organizations. And that lowers the cost of business. Oh yeah. We've worked really hard at making it easy for people to come in and do stuff. But more than that, you can install, go yum, install a small package set and now you have your own build environment. And you can bring, and you can take that, put it on a box and pull the wires off of it and make it as secure as you want to and run it through your processes. And at the end of the day, you know it's going to act just like the one that you get from Fedora. Thank you. 